Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new old school RuneScape video. And listen, let me make this very short. I had this idea of where I'm gonna be doing revs for 10 hours straight whilst being unscold. Then in another video, I'll do it for 10 hours straight while I will be scold. And then in another video, I'll do it for 10 hours straight whilst PKing people. So yeah, that's the idea. I wanna make some money so I can found bonds for my group Iron Man account. That being said, let's jump into it. Enjoy the video. I believe this is the setup I will go into the caves with. So we have just your basic melee setup with Serp Helm, Vigora Chain Mace, Dragon Defender, the Bracelet obviously, we have Primordial Boots and just some Black Dehydes for defenses. And obviously when it comes to inventory, 9 Brews, a little bit of Restores, 1 Combat Potion I'll be banking when this disappears or where my when my inventory doesn't seem that good anymore. 1 Phoenix Necklace for potential tanking if, uh, you know, if I feel like it because uh, Salve Emily that doesn't really do much for me so if I get attacked chuck Phoenix on and just start tanking pretty much but also importantly I do have the Alks with me since I'm not gonna be scold the revs will not be dropping me noted loot that's why I need to have Alks with me so I can constantly Alk the loot that I get and obviously put that into the bag after that now I'm looking to get a looting bag from a drop from revs because I don't have one in the bank right now and that is pretty much everything we need I think we're good to go to give revs a shot right now as you guys know, the Ridge Wallet has been supporting us recently on the channel and I am glad to announce that today's video is also brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is great because it is slim, lightweight and it is not bulky like an old-fashioned wallet. It is designed to easily fit in your front pocket and it can hold up to 12 cards including cash. Now here you can see a comparison between my old wallet and the Ridge Wallet and as you can see for yourself the difference is massive. I personally find it extremely convenient to just grab the Ridge when I go to the gym or the grocery store. I quickly put my gym card in it, my ID and my credit card and I am good to go. There are over 30 colors and styles to choose from, my favorite one being the Half Dome, but I also really like the Carbon Fiber and honestly all of them. Ridge will also keep you protected from the digital pickpockets as each wallet has integrated RFID blocking technology. Because the Ridge has such a durable material, they will even offer you a lifetime warranty. You can get 15% off until 7th of December by going to ridge.com slash MikaRS. That is ridge.com slash MikaRS and use the code MikaRS. Thanks again to the Ridge and now let's carry on with the video. Well, I was here for exactly one minute and we are already attacked. So we'll see how this goes. Basically just need to buy a bunch of time going for the AGS. Okay. Yeah, he just gave up. And there we go, we finally got ourselves a looting bag as well, so it's gonna be a lot easier to just chuck the good stuff in it. And now when it comes to bracelet drops, we're just gonna alg them. And it looks like you also get these supplies, so that is really good. That means I can probably just play piety all the way throughout and just constantly be topped off on the health. And once again, here are the rune full helms and we're gonna be alking all the drops like that. So I really do believe that killing them without school is completely and totally viable. And there we go, the first dragon drop. We got a drag two dragon longswords. Okay, well, I teleported away from the hardcore group Iron Man Bruce. My banking time was exactly one minute. I took one extra restore. Also, I don't think it is a wrong idea to be praying protect from mage and piety the whole time through and just taking an extra extra restore. Because if you're not paying full attention and you get caught by a TB, it's gonna be just a half TB anyway. So it should be easy or easier to tank a half TB with uh, this amount of bruise and food. This guy might attack me, but I'm, I'm praying mage, so I'm ready for it. Okay, so we are now 30 minutes in exactly, and we already made 1.6 million. Obviously, a couple of drops here and there, I'm leaving on the floor, but most of them I'm just alking, putting in the bag and banking, and looks like it is just time to quickly bank right here. Onyx Bolt tips in the very end, and we TP away. So let me quickly show you the bag. 844k from this very quick 20 minute trip like this is amazing so um even unscold like i think this is really really cool and the best part is even if I can get killed, I make that money back immediately. Now, when it comes to how much ether you want to have in your Vigora Chain Mace, I used 500 and it lasts me lasted me for 30 minutes. So about a thousand ether for an entire hour, if you're a maxed account, that is. Question mark? <laughs> okay, I guess I just... Killed him for everything? 
Thanks, bro. Attack me again, please. Well, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was all about. I don't have left click on. It's not a school trick. We're chilling. Oh, it was a school trick. Look at that. Nice try, but I have a right click on fella. Yeah, Mayor, he was uh, school tricking. It's a smart way to school trick, to be honest. Uh, but I always have right click on when I'm risking a lot. Well, he basically just donated me 400k extra to the price check. And we already got 680k in the bag as well. So we also have 15 minutes left on the hour. So let's quickly regear and get right back out of there. He's gonna go for us. He splashed it, so I'm just gonna dip here. Uh, he splashed the first one, and that's why I recommended to just camp, protect from magics. Because even if he catches that, 2.5 minutes with 9 brews, all this food, all these restores, very easy to tank. And as you can see here in the chat, we can call it an hour here, 2 minutes early. But we have killed exactly 150 revenant orcs. Now, when it comes to all the rune items, all the dragon items, I picked them up and I obviously hugged them. Uh, but when it comes to the supplies, I didn't really pick those up right so we can get rid of the supply drops here uh, but basically I picked them up but uh, but used them at the same time so I never really got to bang this but still 2.6 million made easily let's even downplay it a bit and say we only made 2.5 million in the first hour unsculled very minimal risk at all times and without any unique drops on top of that so this has to be, like, this is one of the best money makers in the game, straight up at the moment, and you know what, it's been extremely easy to do, extremely relaxing, you just have your prayers up, you get so many blighted super restore drops anyways, to where you can just constantly stay on the trip until your bag is full or until you're out of supplies or whatever, so, um, yeah, that was the first hour, made almost 3 million, let's go ahead and have another hour, I don't think I want to change anything, I just want to see if I can improve my kill count, to be more than 150. I am ready to begin with my second hour. The inventory looks like that. So once again, nine brews, six restores, one combat potion, and that's pretty much what I'm going with. 20 minutes down and we already made 700k in just looting bag. As you notice, at the very end of the trip, I pick up the items that alk for less, uh, but also this runite ores. I don't actually alk runite ores because they're worth much more as an ore than if you alk it. But yeah, that is 50 kills down pretty much, and we made 800k almost. Well, we have another person attacking us right now. Well, I have to bank now. A little bit of a waste of time. I was hoping it would be another one of those school trickers, but uh, yeah, unsuccessful this time around. Wasted a little bit of time, but no worries. Let's just quickly bank, regear, and go right back at it. Ah, uh, he wasn't gonna attack me. Ah, uh, my bad. Yeah, some people decide to not attack me. I don't know, maybe it's my name. I don't know what it is, but decided to TP out just to be safe. 350k in the bag and some extra loot right here. Okay, so we have an actual fight right here, it seems. Uh, but it's only a 2 minute TB, so... This guy's pretty decent though, looking at, at his switches and whatnot. So we're gonna have to be smart about how we play. Okay, so that's how easy it is to tank a half of a TB. And as you can see, I still have a shit ton of supplies left. So even a full TB should not be too much of a problem to tank. Now, unfortunately, this trip was a bit short again. 270k, a couple of uh, items in my inventory as well. Let's call it 300k there. This hour is a bit worse, but that's what you can expect from wilderness stuff, right? You can get attacked a lot, or sometimes you won't get attacked at all. And you'll make a lot more money than, uh, than otherwise. But uh, yeah, I, I have uh, about 15 minutes left to go. So let's try to make the best of this hour. I see the very first dragon plate legs on the floor. That's gonna be nice 160k right there And we are currently three minutes away from uh, being done with this hour. I can't really out this wait Let's wait for the hit boom and now I can do it Perfect, 162k from just those legs, 3 more minutes and we're done with the second hour. Well, the time is up and we have once again pretty much killed exactly 150 revenants. So let's see what we get here for the last one. Nice little bracelet and we're good to go. So, um, the timer is 1 hour and 30 seconds and in the second hour we once again killed 150 as I said. And once again, very similar profit, very consistent moneymaker right now. Uh, so once again, 2.6 million, uh, a couple of supplies I could once again remove. Actually, they don't even show anymore. I think the reason they don't show is because I hid them earlier, but something like uh, Black Dehyde, I also don't pick this up and whatnot. But let's just say 2.5 straight up profit. Very cool for the second hour. Okay, I will be starting my third hour right now. And I'm doing this on the peak time. So um, yeah, it is currently 7 p.m. for me. So I'm full on expecting to be attacked a lot in this hour. But let's see how it goes. Uncontested trip for exactly 1 million. 
Okay, well, we're getting attacked for the first time right now. I don't think this guy can kill me. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Okay, I guess we'll fight him back a bit until the TB runs out. We'll see how he does. All right, well, that was uh, not hard at all, but yeah, didn't want to bank yet. However, 40 minutes down the road, this trip, we made 695k. Okay, we have another uh, person fighting us right now. Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna start looting this pile right here. See if I get any, you know, extra loot when we bank, basically. Bro, we good, man, we good. Let me just log out. There's another uh, PKing attempt. Um, I still have 12 minutes to go on this hour, though. And this trip, we ended up making 250k from just that, that guy on the floor, I guess. So. No, but this guy, man. I, I guess I'll just call this hour early. Uh, 55 minutes in, and uh, guess what? I killed 150, exactly, again, pretty decent, and that's the third hour done. Alright, I believe it is time for hour number four, and I'm still looking for that one hour where I don't get interrupted at all, where I can do three uninterrupted trips and see how many kills I can actually get. But yeah, looking forward to it, let's see how much money we can make in this one. Oh, and look at that, that is the very first kill of the trip. And we scored six magic seeds, which is one of the rare drops, 800k right there. Do I just go back? I don't think I want to bank this. But if I see a red dot running at me, I'll probably look to bank pretty quickly here. Or if I get another rare drop. Is this guy gonna go for me? He's splashing, so he seems to be interested in fighting. So, well, we started 20 seconds in, literally four revenant skills. And uh, we need to bank, but luckily, six magic seeds in the bag, so not too bad. A fresh pair of dragon plate legs. I believe that's the second pair we've gotten since we started. So that's kind of cool. 1.2 million and some extra goodies in the inventory. I think Let It Clap is on to us. He knows what we're doing, boys. 1.2 million in the bag. 20 minutes to go on this hour. I don't know if this is just in my head or if it's actually happening. But I feel like a lot of PKers just log in on me but never actually attack me. Like they just don't go for me. Uh, and even when they do, it seems extremely easy to escape. Because I constantly have protect from magic on so i don't even know how someone could catch me on like a full tb or anything like that so honestly this seems extremely safe the only time i could kind of maybe be in a position where i could die is if i get hit by someone in absolute max and even then i'm very confident in escaping all right look like uh, we have another pk here and uh, i'll just say hi to him and uh <laughs> i went on that guy well i could just log now i think <laughs> fucking noob uh, because my supplies are low, I think it is better to just quickly uh, jump into the bank and then continue with the last 10 minutes in a bit. We did make only 230k in this trip though. But you see what I mean, like I'm not, never even close to dying. Never expected this to happen, but uh, this uh, this person is begging me for 2 million in game right now, so... Ooh, another PK. Let's see if he goes for us. Okay, that's the first, like, PK that's actually utilizing DD on me. He's gonna go for mage. Let's keep flicking the mage hits. So that's a bit unfortunate because once again, same as before, I was I was going to have a really solid um, hour. I get uh, attacked, but looks like I just had to run here, and he kind of gave up pretty quickly. So I don't think I actually need to go recall. I mean, I don't need. I, I don't think I need to TP for that one. So I think we're still good to go. All right, there it is. I have 10 seconds left on the hour, so we're gonna pick up this loot and we are good to teleport out. Um, finally, I had an hour where I wasn't contested as much as in the other hours. I was still attacked a fair few times, but I think I regrouped pretty quickly. So in this fourth hour, we finally found an increase in revenant kills. So 182 and we also made a lot of money. 4.1 million in that hour alone. Very successful. So the biggest competition most of the time Time, it's not even PKers, it's actually PVMers that hop to your world and then you have to share the revenants and obviously if you can only kill one orc instead of two, you're gonna get much less kills. So this hour was pretty successful with 182. I think I'm ready to move on and do another one. Hour number five, let's go. All right, then found the world and let's begin. I'm really hoping I get some of the rare unique drops. I really want to see at least something in the 10 hours that I plan on doing this for. Got another double dragon plate legs drop. This is where all the money comes in. One of the best drops you can get here. Okay, well, another PK on the loose right now. Okay, I think I'm good to go, right? All right, we're good to continue. Okay, we're getting attacked right as we got a double dragon plate legs drop. And I guess I'll just TP away. Like, I don't know. 
How is he expecting to kill me if he doesn't bring TBs? I don't understand. Uh, but anyways, a successful trip, 1 million in the bag, and another 300k, even more right here on the legs. Really cool. More dragon plate skirts. 1.2 million in the bag, and the reason for banking is I ran out of restores. Alright, looks like we have a PK here again. Let's see if we can escape it. This time he's in uh, pretty good gear. Okay, he's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good PK here. I can tell the way he he moves. Dealing a nice amount of damage to me right now, so I gotta be patient. He's doing a lot of switches, so... So his biggest DPS is range, that's why I'm hopping. I'm gonna type a little XD to him. Do a little bit of BM. How much left? One minute. Chilling. <laughs> He's not happy with that performance, is all I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Quick little 550k from that trip. Ended up having to obviously cut it a little bit short. <laughs> Bro, look at it. I just got re tb I I CBA, man. I just came back, bro. Relax. Relax. I still have 12 minutes left on the hour, but it seems like it's pretty active right now. So I'm probably gonna go to bed after this next 10 minutes. And there it is. The fifth hour is also completed. I'll obviously finish off this orc as well. See if I get any good loot. There's one bracelet on the floor. I might as well pick up all the supplies that are still staying on the floor right now. And this was once again a fairly successful hour. A couple of uh, encounters with PKers that slowed me down just a little bit. Uh, but all in all, I still had a very successful 170 kill hour. Uh, where we made 3.8 million approximately. So honestly, I can't complain. That is... That is very, very decent. All right then, good morning. Let's begin with our number six. This hour, we are going to be doing off-peak hours. So we'll see how that compares and if we maybe get attacked a little bit less and hopefully we can make more money. Also, if you're still watching, drop me a quick sub. Ooh, there we go. First drop, Ancient Crystal. And it's a collection lock pop-up. It's 500k these days, so not too bad. Unfortunately, I am competing with the bad boy 222, so I'm gonna quickly find an open world. But there we go. A first, like, rare, so to say, drop in revs in this video on our number six. That's very cool. Very happy with that. More dragon plate skirts. More dragon plate legs. Okay, well, I got half the beat by that guy. And that is pretty much all he has for that attempt. Quick little check on the bag for this trip, alongside uh, 40 extra K, 2 million, what an amazing trip, look at that. Little does he know there's dragon plate skirts on the f- oh yeah, it's just one. Why do I sometimes get one, but most of the times I get two? Well, this guy go for me, he goes for a half, okay, let's go for the agility shortcut, we have a pick air on the ready only 3d stores for this one so it could be a bit scarier than usually and he's also using the dd and he's also very good at the switches so we gotta be careful with this one and very little left to go only 40 seconds and he just gave up and that's what it takes most of the time to just uh, escape he cares now if he knew about my food situation maybe he would have uh, kept trying but I don't think he could have killed me. Still a very solid 1 million trip with some extra rune bars. I mean I guess it's a solid strat if you wanna um, if you wanna PK with uh, well if you wanna stay schooled on revs right bring a ballista and you're able to just kind of fight back but this trip 560k Ended up getting a fairly solid 157 kill hour with 3.7 million just straight up profit, a bunch of dragon drops, we also got this uh, ancient crystal drop and quite a lot of D-longs as well. So pretty solid hour, let's move to hour number 7. It is time to begin with hour number 7, let's see how this one goes. Ooh, ancient emblem, ah it's the worst one. There it is though, 500k. It is a collection log pop-up, we will take it. Don't even think I need to bank yet, but... Uh, obviously, if you are schooled, you have a higher chance of getting better emblems, I believe. So, I'm really looking forward to doing the second part to this series, where I'll be killing them scold. So, um, but yeah, that is uh, pretty cool. I was looking forward to getting at least one of those drops, and I'm very happy to have gotten one. 1.5 million. 900k in the looting bag, about 100k in the inventory from that trip. Okay, looks like we have another PKing, PK on the loose. Let's see if we can tank this guy. Nice amount of switches. Let's see how he performs. He's doing some fakies. So let's not bite on every fakie. Let's eat here. That was a big spec for him. Can't really kill me. He's probably going for mage after. Wait, what am I doing? Why is my guy running there? That's all right. So I think I might stay for just a little bit longer because I have five minutes left exactly. I do think I have some stuff on the floor, so I think we're good to continue. 
All right, the hour is up and I actually had, I think, the best hour right now on hour number 7. Almost no competition whatsoever, 196 skill count. We ended up achieving the little emblem as well. So yeah, all in all, very solid hour, 3.8 million profit and uh, on to hour number, what is it, hour number 8? Time for hour number 8. We're nearing the end, honestly. Not quite, but getting there. Let's see how this one goes. More plate legs. 1.4 million trip, very nice. There's a whole clan going after this guy. The, the whole room is full of bolts, man. What is happening here? Look at him, they're falling in on this poor... Bro, he's, he's got nothing. Let him be. And he's gone. 815k trip, nice. Okay, well, that's annoying. Yeah, I never understand when people with barrages attack me because... I can simply just stab away, but uh, I do lose a little bit of time when the situation like that happens. Our number 8 is completed, time is up, the bag is looking juicy, 724k, and an entire hour we ended up making... Oh, this was actually a record hour, 198 orcs killed in this one, and we made 3.1 million pretty much, so... Honestly, very solid hour. I have a block of two more to do. Uh, I think I'll have a short break here because I've done like four hours in a row pretty much. And I'm just going to do two hours in a little bit. And in the end, we're going to count up how much money we actually made in the 10 hours. So it's looking really good so far though. All right, let's begin with hour number nine. We're almost done and it's once again peak time. So hopefully we don't get interrupted too much. That's the first ever Dragon Madhelm from here on hour number 9, I believe. So, yeah, thank you for that. 613k from this one. A lot of little... A lot of people attacked me in this first trip, but we managed to kind of fill in the bag. Chill, bro, chill. Good. It's a nice hit from him, actually. Yeah, so, so that's what I mean. Like, I keep, keep getting, like, uh, people that uh, rush me like that. And then it costs me a little bit of bruise, a little bit of supplies and uh, and the combo pot, basically. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. 500k, I keep getting attacked right now. I kind of had that idea that that was gonna happen, so I'm gonna move a bit deeper into the cave. Dragon plate leg drop again. I have a feeling this hour is going to be rough, but there's another million in the bag. Interesting amount of coins, if I can say so myself. But yeah, I constantly get attacked right now. Uh, we're just gonna try to push through it and see how many kills we can get. But I have a feeling this might be the first uh, quote-unquote bad hour where I just constantly get attacked no matter what I do. But uh, yeah, let's just keep trying, hop a couple of worlds and see if it gets any better. Like, I don't get it, you're using MSB, like, who are you trying to kill right now? Like, just XD, man, it's so fucking bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever, dude, I'll just stab and come right back. It is what it is. We're gonna call this trip a cool little 300k, but yeah, getting a little annoyed right now, just, just a tiny little bit, you know? Ooh, ancient emblem, nice, second one. Sick, 500k again though, it's the worst one you can get. Unlucky on that department, but hey, I'll take it, free 500k. Now, you know what, since the time is pretty much out, like I have 3 minutes left going back, it seems a bit pointless, and this... As predicted was one of the worst hours I believe 148 kills constantly getting attacked constantly getting like bolted or whatever luckily this little ancient emblem helps us with the profit made in this one 3.2 million done so with that our number nine is now completed all right I guess uh, one more hour to go I'm ready eating waffles and starting our number 10. Right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully a little bit less problems than in the last hour. And just to make it a little bit more interesting to myself, I'm going to be doing the entire hour on 2200 worlds, just to see if it's actually any different or if I can get hit by some max PKers. Ooh, ancient medallion. Let's go, nice. Look, 3.37 mil. Basically, no, that's 4 mil. That's 4 mil. I think I bang this, I don't think there's a reason for me to hold it. That's one of the better ones. Obviously you can get up to 16 million worth of them, but I'll take the free 4 million any day of the week. Nice, and like accidentally killed the gnome, but nice. It's so nice to see the pop-up, the red text, a lot of money on the floor. Very cool. All right, let me pick those deep plate legs back up because I have a bunch of them. I'm gonna make sure I'm pretty safe, mo like most of the way throughout, just gonna make sure I don't bite into his fakies too much. Okay, so I think he's just gonna let me go now. Yeah, sometimes that's like all it takes, you know? Yeah. 
All right, nice. Okay, um, I kind of think maybe I should back, but I just talked the yeah. Okay, I just talked the restart. Yeah, we're just not gonna talk about it. All right. Yeah, I wanted to quickly tab out of that one. I uh, I was gonna be ready like as soon as I see a red dot because the restart count very low. This trip ended up making. A million, we'll take it, not too bad. Okay, I'll tab again then, I guess he just wants to be annoying. Maybe they have people just ragging these worlds, I'm not sure. You know about the part where I told you guys that I'll be doing it in 2k worlds? Yeah, it seems like they just have raggers, so basically people that can't... Basically people that will never really kill you, but they're just there to annoy you, so I think I'm going back to regular worlds for the next 30 minutes or so. One million in the bag right now, and I do believe I have 10 minutes left on the clock, so we're gonna be doing one more trip. Alright then, with this skill we are now done with 10 hours of revs whilst being unscold. I'm gonna quickly bank, go over all the screenshots, go over all the hours and we're gonna very quickly talk about, well, basically how much money we made, how much money we spent uh, with supplies and whatnot. Uh, but very quickly, let's lastly take a look at the very last hour, which was also our best hour. We made 7.2 million profit in just the hour alone thanks to the ancient medallion that we received and obviously you can see all the other drops uh, pretty much here M mostly picked all of them sometimes left uh, you know a couple of supplies on the floor and whatnot an extra profit to the 10 hours would be the ether i started with basically it, honestly i'm not sure how much ether i had um but i've just been reusing the ether that i obtained from the bracelet of ethereum and putting it back into the weapon i wish i paid attention on how many i started with i genuinely believe it was like maybe less than a thousand and i'm left with 10k is that possible honestly i don't know um and i will never know because i completely forgot to pay attention to that um but either way it's probably one of those things that it's like one mil up one mil down i'm not quite sure um shouldn't be too big of a difference in the actual profit made by the end of it so what is the result of this video in 10 hours of doing revs unscold never dying we ended up making 36.6 million and then just simple supply costs whether it is ether scales potions food everything like that combined we end up spending about 2.5 million in those 10 hours so not as much as i thought maybe i miscounted something it could be more than that but let's even if it's more than that even if it's like 3 million we still made insane amount of money i am expecting that we made 34.1 million in just straight up profit in in the, in the 10 hours which average out to be 3.4 million an hour on average over the course of 10 hours so i really do hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know in the comments if you made it this far and look forward to the video where i will be doing 10 hours of revenants whilst being schooled to see how that would compare to this video once again thank you so much for all the support you guys show me on all of the videos that i make and once again shout out to ridge for yet again supporting our channel have a good one everyone and i'll see you again very very soon with another video Bye bye